So as we inch towards spring scrimmages, I've been going through various institutions, picking out players that I think we need to keep an eye on. Not only in terms of potential personal production, but also what they can add into their respective institution. And today, we're going to stop in Austin, where the Texas Longhorns added in a wide receiver via the transfer portal that I think we need to be paying close attention to. So with all that being said, today we're going to be talking about Isaiah Nayor, a very talented wide receiver who I think is set to excite Texas fans. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes and for no. Are you excited about what the possibilities of Isaiah Nayor are in this Texas Longhorns offense? And let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. I'm on my push to 15,000 subscribers, and I would love to have you a part of our community. And if you enjoyed the content, like and comment down below, as those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself in both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all that being said, let's hop right into this because Isaiah Nayor is an intriguing prospect, a big body wide receiver standing six foot three, 210 pounds per ESPN. He has an intriguing skill set that I'm sure is set to excite the fan base. And whenever I look at Isaiah Nayor, if we just look at the stats, there's something that instantly pops out to me, and that's the average yards per reception. Because last year, Isaiah Nayor averaged 20 yards per reception and put up almost a thousand yards on 44 receptions coming in with 44 receptions, 878 yards. A lot of production for a wide receiver, but that shows you that this is someone who has big play ability. And if you're looking at the Texas Longhorns offense, Sark loves that big play ability. We saw it in Xavier Worthy last year, so adding in somebody else that can complement Xavier Worthy is going to be big in multiple different reasons. First and foremost, it takes some of the pressure off of your young superstar wide receiver, and let's be honest, Xavier Worthy is someone who, if you can take some of the pressure off of him, it's just going to allow him more freedom and more opportunity to impose his will. That is a freaky, talented wide receiver, and he showed everyone as a true freshman last year. Teams are going to be keying in on him, so the ability to take some pressure away from Worthy will be key in year two. Isaiah Nayor gives you that and some. The other thing that I was really intrigued about was looking at his freshman year, in which case we talk about 20 yards per reception as being impressive. His freshman year, that was in the 30 yard per reception. So this is not someone who's going to shy away from the big play. But also on top of that, when you look at this, you can't teach six foot three, 210 pounds, and being able to move the way Isaiah Nayor does. You either have that or you don't. Sure, you can work on some things, but at the end of the day, you either have a lot of those natural abilities or you don't. The Longhorns are lucky that this is an individual that has those natural abilities. Because not only is he a big play receiver, but if you go back and really watch his film, he was dependable in the short to intermediate game as well, and he was even able to take short passes for big gains. That is exciting, because it's not like this is someone who's just running a go route and you're throwing it to him. Although, I'm not going to lie, Wyoming asked that of him quite frequently, and I don't necessarily blame them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm only proving the point that while that is an elite aspect of his game, that's not the only aspect of his game. And I think that's very important, because you're going to be looking to make a defense feel all the different options you can bring to the table in year two under Sark. We know Xavier Worthy is going to be a threat, but if you can make a defense worry about the short game, the intermediate game, and the long game all at once, well, you're able to dictate a lot at that point, and you're holding cards close to your chest. That's why I think Isaiah Nayor and having the complete skill set that he does, a skill set that will continue to be worked on, but nonetheless, a great foundation for whatever you can coach on top of that, that's why I think this is such an intriguing prospect. He had a lot of big playability at Wyoming, and Wyoming asked him to do a lot of it, but that's not all he is. Now, the one thing we do need to talk about when we're talking about the Texas Longhorns offense is that offensive line. I've talked about this at four. I've talked about it at length. If the offensive line doesn't get up to speed, these weapons on the outside are ultimately for nothing. Sure, Xavier Worthy's probably still going to put up fantastic numbers. As a true freshman, he was less than 100 yards away from a 1,000-yard season. But inevitably, you're not going to be able to maximize all the talent you have if you don't have the offensive line that's giving your quarterback the adequate time. And especially if 
Quinn Ewers is set to be your quarterback because not only are you going to be trying to get an offensive line gelling, you're also going to be trying to break in a brand new quarterback as well. Talented, no one's going to argue the talent, but nonetheless, reading a high school defense is worlds apart from reading a college defense. And I'm not saying that precludes anybody from having success. My only point here is that you need to be able to make Quinn Ewer's job as easy as it can be to work him in. Giving him Isaiah Nayor, giving him Xavier Worthy and Bijan Robinson along with Jalel Billingsley and some of the other talented pieces you have, that's a great way to make a quarterback's job easy. But if the offensive line doesn't make strides it might not be able to come together the way it could or should for the Texas Longhorns offensively. Now look, we could talk about this all day in the offensive line, but at the end of the day, if that's an area that's even able to improve a bit, we can start to see some improving from the Texas Longhorns. Because if we look at the skill positions, there's a whole lot to be excited about in that department for UT. And Isaiah Nayor is only adding on fuel to that fire. Isaiah Nayor is a wide receiver that could possibly help Xavier Worthy maximize his potential but vice versa. Xavier Worthy can also help Isaiah Nayor maximize Nayor's potential. So this could be a marriage where these guys feed off of each other, open up opportunities not only for the other, but every other offensive playmaker in the system. That right there is exciting. Even as someone who's not a Texas fan, that's an exciting proposition because Quinn Ewers is someone I'm going to be watching very closely, as is the rest of the college football world. And look, deservedly so. You only have so many quarterbacks that have been rated that highly. You can count them on your hand. And so when you get one, the college football world is going to be watching. But because of that, I'm just hoping that Texas is able to maximize the pieces they have. Isaiah Nayor is an incredible addition to be able to maximize the ability of Xavier Worthy. Xavier Worthy's presence helps maximize the ability of Nayor, but I'm really interested in seeing how it's all going to come together because the eyes of the college football world will be watching what the quarterback does as my eyes are going to be watching what the offensive line does. But I'm really interested in hearing from y'all. First and foremost, most, what's the area of the team that you're most concerned about? Very interested in hearing from Texas fans about that. What are you most excited about? And ultimately, let me know what you're thinking about Isaiah Nayor. Let's talk some football down in the comments and it can help me formulate some videos and content for y'all that y'all will enjoy. But with all that being said, that's it. See ya.